We're back in Star Shaman. Dude, I know. I'm <laughs> telling that I'm gonna play more and more this game. Don't worry. <laughs> they came out with a new update a long time ago. Okay, two weeks, like, whatever. It's not that long, but I think this one is pretty much the most important for me, I think, personally, because they introduced a feature that whenever you die, pretty much in-game, you can restart from the checkpoint. That basically means that if you complete the planet, like, by defeating the boss, you can start from that point when you, like, you know, die. Which I feel like, for me, means that this game is actually now with a proper progression system that I enjoy and wanna play it more because that way I don't really lose the progress or like you know this dark solely kind of type of gameplay there are a couple of game balancing changes as well some quality of life things this game I feel like is like a hidden gem in terms of like just gameplay or like even soundtrack but I had to restart the whole game again <laughs> to play the modes with checkpoints so let me speed run through it <laughs> as well as it's just like if you complete the level your health replenishes which I I feel like it's so big of a change like it's not like it's like you know the game is like completely broken about that but it's a very nice change in terms of like playthrough in general now upgrade the shield increases its size okay some balancing changes it seems like beam that's new hold trigger to channel the energy and wipe obeloids huh i'll try this i mean <laughs> the op version was this like kind of like you know rainbow madness but here activation is oh punch forward Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty fun, actually. When there are like you know enemies are stacked all together, it's interesting that it's like a punch. Oh, it cleans the whole room. Okay, I need to be careful to not like punch the wall or something. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I think this is gonna be very useful for like the guys that are like you know shielded. Oh, I already hit the wall. <laughs> Karum. That's new as well. Cast Karum spell and fire it and able to make ripple damages. Uh, okay, I'll take this. Ah, there is a beacon as well. Damn, there's so many spells now that are like interesting to take. I mean, now we have a boss fight, so I'm not gonna test it out per se. But I wanna see the pattern, how to cast it. Let me see. So it's... Oh shit, I, I didn't replace it. Eh, whatever. Uh, dude, I defeated you countless times. <laughs> Give me your turret. Oh man, that's... Very OP then. Bam! <laughs> and now you. Huh? Oh, here. <laughs> Where the fuck did I damage him? Oh shit, what the hell is this? <laughs> oh, it changed, but the icon didn't change for some reason. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Bam! Okay, lovely. Okay, so now let's die purposefully and see if we'll come back at the same place. Oh shit, those fuckers. They won't kill me. They don't shoot. <laughs> so the beam works on them. Okay, that's great then because they reflect projectiles. But beam is not necessarily a projectile. People, kill me. <laughs> huh? He reflected at me, but I didn't take damage. Okay, so that's completely bugged then. Finally, I can die. <laughs> Bam, finally. Okay, so we're back in the menu. We have progress. Oh, interesting. That could be a tactical thing. But I thought that uh, you get upgrades in progress by not dying as well. Maybe that's gonna be a tactic as well. To kind of like reset your run and then come back for the checkpoint. Hmm. Oh, wait, what happened? <laughs> Oh, it automatically threw me into the same planet. Okay, that's great as well. I completed this one as well, like in one of my gameplay videos. So next time we're gonna see each other. I hope it's not gonna be the next update, but like the next kind of playthrough clip finally. I don't know, I think the update is pretty solid, but like there are still some bugs into it, so nothing can be perfect.